There are plans to put pressure on the county council just days ahead of the first of two county budget hearings. The teachers union is among those leading the charge. We need to start this movement now so we can then have a better year next year and hope that we don't have to do this again. But if we do, we'll be right back out there. For now, more than 100 classroom positions could be cut. Other staff cuts are on the chopping block as well. On top of that, some critical student courses may not be offered next year. Parents who are starting to take a closer look at the school system budget say what they're seeing is a wake-up call. Even we didn't know. Being, being so active, we, we had no idea um, how deep the cuts have been to our school system. Uh, and that's where our uh, concern started. The county executive has committed more money to the school system. His budget proposal is now in the hands of the county council. Education still remains one of our biggest priorities, if not our number one priority. Even so, the county council president says he's got to be fair across the board. You know, we go through, we look and see, and the challenge is uh, in lean times, as you said, where do you find uh, the money that people are looking for who do you cut? The first of two budget hearings will take place this Thursday. Now, so far we're hearing that close to a thousand people plan to march from school board headquarters to the county council budget hearing on Thursday. Live in the 11 newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News.